Each year we do a landmark project. This year we're outside Tate Modern with Endless Stair by DRMM. When the London Design Festival approached me with the idea of working with the American Hardwood Export Council about producing some kind of installation or structure for the festival, I was at first delighted and then immediately curious about um, why and how hardwood could be a sustainable form of construction. We came along with a structural concept and wanted to do something completely new by putting cross-laminated timber structures together with this really intriguing timber, the tulip wood. The strength of CLT is really governed by rolling shear. And what's exciting about the tulip wood is that it is about three times stronger than softwood in rolling shear. Predictability of performance through CLT is, is one of the great things. So, um, that's what allows us to use smaller and um, uh, lower quality material about predictability and performance. This project, the Endless Stair, was specifically interesting because it's not just a stair, it's an external, extraordinary stair. It's the first time that we work with tulip wood. It was a good opportunity to see what the possibilities we could do with tulip wood and especially in a new application in CLT. Wood is the new concrete, it's the material of the 21st century and I think we've gone a way to demonstrating that with this project. We took inspiration from Escher and we tried to translate his three-dimensional graphical representation into a three-dimensional form. Well, stairs are, if you like, sculpture's gift to architecture. You know, it's, you can almost guarantee it's one of the most interesting parts of most buildings. Imola Lenyo's uh, magic to turn this low-grade hardwood to a high-quality timber and then pass it to Nusli to make exactly what we'd modelled as a team. That's the uh, Midas-like process of turning an ordinary uh, low-grade joinery type skirting board attempt into something really special that you see outside. That's, that's what this project's been about. I hope that we have specifiers and architects that could look at a project like this and, and, and look at tulip wood for its natural beauty and say, you know, I want to I want to include something like that in my project where I see those colors and I see what the wood can bring into design of a home. When we're here at the Tate Modern and this structure is on display, several people can come by, see the beauty of the wood, see the structure itself, but also behind us is a chance for them to pick up brochures that talks about the sustainability, the renewability, and the use of wood as a preferred construction project. U.S. Ambassador was here giving our message of the value of wood, the renewability and the sustainability of wood. So all in all, a great day here at Tate Modern. Over the last 50 years, the number of standing hardwood trees in the United States because of careful forest management has doubled in the last 50 years. So while we continue to do a lot of, lot of exports, we're also um, growing and replenishing and renewing this incredible natural resource. With this project, what's really helped us to move the needle forward on the whole discussion about environmental impacts is the work that was done by PE International on measuring the life cycle analysis, measuring the life cycle impacts of this project. I think we have a fantastic story to tell on wood's potential to really get us closer and closer to a zero carbon environment. Building the same structure out of any other type of material would have a much, much higher impact on the environment. And we need to think about what our decisions mean for our children. We've been so lucky to work with a fantastic team on this project. And to be outside the Tate Modern, one of the great art institutions, you know, arguably in the world. It's interesting to see the public reaction to the finished article because quite clearly it doesn't just capture the imagination, but it's something that people are kind of compulsively curious about. And as an architect, that's what you want, how people engage with it, and that's the magic of architecture.